Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is It's Visha, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how I homeschool my child, fourth grader, um, but I do it the inexpensive way. This, this is not religious based, so I do just wanna put that out there for anybody um, who wants a religious based homeschooling. I do not do a religious based homeschooling. Um, so. And this is also, like I said again, inexpensive. So we live in the state of Texas, and in the state of Texas, um, the curriculum must be either out of workbooks, um, visual, like visual form, or it also says um, on the computer, and it cannot be a sham, okay? Um, and the five subjects in Texas is reading, writing, grammar, uh, mathematics, and you also have good citizenship, which good citizenship is also civics, or just saying, you know, a, the Pledge of Allegiance, and also on here it says um, Texas law, okay? So that's what it says for us. When we homeschool in Texas, we do not have to turn in any paperwork saying that this is what we're deciding to do with our children. Um, so only thing that I had to do last year was I had to like withdraw her from school, giving them a note, letting them know that I'm withdrawing her from school and these are the five subjects that I am going to teach her that Texas requires for her to know. Okay. So with that being said, let's get started with my first, um, item. So the first thing I have here is a fourth grade workbook. So I bought this last year from Costco um, when I bought her the third grade one because I didn't think they was going to have these again this year, which honestly they did. I could have waited, but I still went ahead and got it out of the way. So with this book, we're doing math, reading, writing, grammar, science, and she will also have maps. Okay. So that is for this um, book. Now, do you guys see how small this book is? Complete us for the whole entire school year. And also in Texas, you still do have to do, um, darn it, I think it's 180 days, but it's you still have to do the full nine months of school. Okay, so, but yeah, so this is not gonna finish the whole, you know, this is gonna be done before the school year is even up. Probably, probably not. But I bought a backup because we're just not doing this workbook. We also have, oh, and all of these are workbooks except for the reading um, that I do for her. Then next we have the complete curriculum. Guys, I used this complete curriculum last year for her third grade school year and I absolutely loved it. So I had to do it again for fourth grade and if they have it for fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, I'm doing it because I honestly really like this book. Now this book is way thicker. It did honestly. Honestly, it took us the whole year to finish this. Um, with certain subjects reading we were done with reading by the end like before we even got went on spring not spring on winter break so the reading kind of did go by fast and the um spelling did go by fast for us in this book but that is perfectly okay because kids are reading and spelling all the time so but this book right here it's very honestly very thick and also I like this book because it does have testing in the back of it. It's a standardized test so like if I wanted to put her back into the school system at least I know for a fact that she will be able to comprehend on her next grade level like her fifth grade level. She wouldn't be behind. So I really honestly I like this book right here. So the complete curriculum. I honestly really like it. Then what we also have here is word problems. So instead of last year, I did reading language arts and writing with the spectrum. Um, but this year I just decided to only get the word problems. And the reason why I decided to just do the word problems because we're still having trouble with word problems. Um, I am a math whiz. I love math and I just figured, you know, let's get her something where that she can do if I hope you guys can see it though, that she can do like some of these math problems on her own or, you know, we can do it one on one. She has more practice with math problems. So that's why this year I did math problems and I did it by reading or language arts or writing because it's already in another curriculum. However, 
if we get done with language arts reading and writing which we're never because i love to write so i always come up like with little writing prompt ideas um especially with writing but if we still need something to do for reading comprehension or language arts i would definitely recommend going to go buy one of these books just to have it as a backup plan um this was only 9.99 this book right here was 19.95 and this book right here was seven was 7.99 okay so just keep that in mind these are all inexpensive they're under 20 dollars each book i have is under 20 dollars okay then the next thing we have is stem so i bought a stem this is for engineering um these this right here would be when we're bored um we're done doing a project for today and she just wants to you know play around and do something different um get our minds off of just school like do something that spikes her curiosity so i got stem books again i got this from costco that's the engineering one and then i got the science um engineering one and i got this one also for costco the same thing when we i do a lot of science projects we do a lot of science projects and even though science is not a requirement for Texas um, for her age group, I still do science because I just feel like science is curiosity. Kids need to just deal with their curiosity or, you know, it's intriguing. To me, it's still intriguing. I'm still curious a lot about a lot about a lot of things. But so I just got this for her and we just you know we just we just do this and then so those are it for what we have this year um like i said if i need more i would definitely go ahead and i would get more another thing that we do as well is called the reading um a through z and the only thing you have to do on this one you can do a start your free you can start your free trial if you would like start your free trial and you see there it says uh, family home or classroom and then I'm already an existing customer okay but so you can do that or we have this one right here and then so this one you still have vocabulary you still have okay so you still have vocabulary you can build your vocabulary and also it's a um, 14 day free trial so you can guys can try it out if you like to but I like to stick to the reading one myself you can go to free samples and then you just go here and you can get um, free samples you can actually download a book so Nevea is on oh god I'm just gonna pick a book um, but I want to pick one that's on her grade level, though. So I just pick a book. I'm just going to say V. So you can download the book. You can download the book. You can do discussions, discussion cards that they have. Let me also download the book as well, the comprehension, and then the worksheet. So I'm just going to go ahead and can I go to it? So let's go to the book so you just go to the book and you know they can read it we just assemble this book together so we'll just assemble it together she reads it really nice you guys really nice you do not have to do it in black and white i actually do print these books out i wish i had a copy right now to like actually go through and show you guys but this is like something that we would do for reading and then they have the comprehension so when she gets done reading she can do, she can go and do her comprehension you know and also it has the answer sheet but right there as well <laughs> all right so you guys um that is all for today's video it was short sweet and very quick to the point um so that's what we'll be doing this year for homeschooling if i do have to add more things for her i definitely will go ahead and i do that and if you guys would like um to know more about our homeschooling journey just let me know this is our second year homeschooling and before i let you go for myself um i did show this in another i did show this like in my haul video what i got her for school 
Um, so I do have a, a planner. This planner is for myself. And what I do in the planner, Nevaeh, can you bring me my planner real quick that I had for last year? So I'm gonna show you guys my last year planner because I haven't went through this one yet, which I need to because school starts for her August the 16th. Um, we don't take as many breaks as everybody else. Actually this year, she actually went through the, even through summer. Um, I had her going to school even through summer. So we really don't take breaks like that. So, and that's the fun thing about doing homeschooling. She's still learning. Um, she's still learning. So how I keep track of everything. Um, and I also had a plan for fourth grade. That's so funny. I didn't even, I write things down. But so how I also plan for everything. So I go to August because last year, August, we started school on the 10th of August. So what I would do, you guys really can't see, but this is how I, I hand write my, um, I hand write what she's gonna do. I hand write what she's gonna do and I also, I keep it. So this is what I keep just in case, this was my last year, this was last year's. So I keep it just in case, you know, somebody wants to be nosy and see what my child is doing. I have it here to show proof that we do learn, like we do learn. And if you want to see how I do her curriculum, just let me know down in the comments below. I will definitely give you guys some heads up on what we do and how I homeschool her. Also guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining my video. If you're new here, definitely go ahead and click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll know anytime that I upload it. And to all my oldies but goodies, thank y'all for coming back. And I also wanna shout out, cause she shouted me out on her channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and shout her out on my channel. I feel like we have a sister bun. She already know who I'm talking about. Um, kicking it with the grants. Shay, I love her channel. You guys go check her out. She is a mama six, her and her husband, they are doing the, the thing, okay? Do you hear me? Um, I just love their energy and I love, also I love her channel. Like I watch every video that she uploads because we get we I don't know I don't I don't know her personally but I feel like if I knew her you know we see each other we'll be like best friends <laughs> I don't take it too far but I love her I love her channel guys go check her out so again I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in today and uh, also like like comment and subscribe until next time peace